In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use one, two, or even more LoRa's simultaneously in Comfy UI with the Flux model. If you recall from previous sessions, I've taught you how to add LoRa to Comfy UI and use it in your workflow. In another video, I even showed you how to create a personal LoRa from your own photos so that every time you use a prompt, it generates an image with your face. We had that node where we could add one LoRa like this one and give it a weight to get an output. However, sometimes we want to use two LoRa's at once or even three or more, but it doesn't provide that capability. For instance, we can use the Flux Realism LoRa, which gives us a more realistic image and removes that artificial, somewhat plastic look on the skin that certain AI models can produce. We can use this LoRa alongside our personal LoRa to make the image more natural. Or we could use other LoRa's, many of which are available for download on sites like Civit AI, just like in a stable diffusion where we could use multiple LoRa's simultaneously. No one had shown how to do this in Flux. One of the most exciting uses for me was adding a realism LoRa to my personal LoRa to create much more realistic images of myself. The images might have looked a bit unnatural at first, but with the added realism LoRa, the results were far more lifelike. So what do we need to do? Well, since this node doesn't have the capability for multiple LoRa's, I'll show you how to fix that. If you haven't yet seen the video on how to add LoRa to Comfy UI, make sure to watch it first. I'll include the link here. In that video, I gave a full tutorial on setting up Comfy UI, adding LoRa, configuring models, and creating notes. Once you've watched that, come back to this video as it builds on the previous one. Now I'm going to remove this node because it can't load multiple LoRa's simultaneously. Instead, we need a different node. To get this node, go to the manager section, which I covered in the last video. Here, in the custom manager, type RG3. You will see the node here and you need to install it. Since I've already installed it, it doesn't show the install option for me, but for you it should be there. Once you have installed it, restart Comfy UI to start using it. Once the node is installed, you will enter the environment and load the workflow I've previously provided in other videos. You just need to drag and drop the workflow and it will be loaded for you. Okay, now double click on the screen and type Power LoRa Loader. We need this node, it's clearly named LoRa Loader RG3. Add it here just like that. You can now load multiple LoRa's into your workflow at the same time. From here, I'll connect the model to this node. The good thing about this is that it works with both the GGUF models, which are faster than the original dev models. This means you can use both the goof models that I explained in another video on how to install them and also the original Flux dev model. If your system is weaker, under 12 gigabytes of VRAM, I recommend using the goof models as they provide much better speed without compromising much on quality. I'll connect the model here and from here, I link this node to the next one. I'll also connect the clip nodes in this manner. Now easily you can click on add LoRa to add your own LoRa's. I'll select a LoRa that created from photos using the method I showed in the video on how to make personal LoRa's on the replicate site. I'm going to generate an image of a woman to see if the power LoRa loader works. I already have a prepared text prompt, so I can copy and paste it here. The word Paras2 is the trigger word for this LoRa. I will use the same settings with a fixed seed and hit generate to see what image it produces. I've selected the Q4 model for faster generation. Since I'm also recording the screen, it's a bit slower, but under normal circumstances without a screen recording, the generation speed is almost twice as fast. The first image is generated and it looks good. It matches the person whose LoRa I created perfectly. I will include the real photo of this person in the video so you can see how close the generated image is to the actual person. And it's clear that the LoRa is working as intended. Now I'm going to add another LoRa and see if it works with two LoRa's at once. 
I'll add a popular flux realism in LoRa that makes the image look more lifelike and remove some of the artificial boldness of the colors. This is the flux realism LoRa and I will provided the download link in the description for you to use. I want to see if it changed my image. I'll fix the seed so we get constant results and I adjust the weights slightly setting one at 0.65 and the other at 0.85 so they blend well together. Now with the same fixed seed I'll hit the generate again. The second image is generated and if you look at it it's much more realistic. The colors are a bit more muted and the hair and overall appearance are more natural. If you compare it to the first image, you will see that the colors in the first one are more artificial, while the second has a much more realistic feel. The waist, for example, has changed in the appearance, so it's clear that both LoRa's are working together. We can test other LoRa's as well. Let's try something creative. I'll add another LoRa which I trained on a different woman's photo and combine the two faces. I'll also include real photos of both women in the video so you can see the combination. We are going to test with three LoRa's now. I'll type it the name of the second woman for her trigger word and with the same fixed seat, let's see the result with three LoRa's. Here's the next image. As you can see, it's a combination of both faces. And this shows how creative you can get by combining multiple LoRa's. Now, to check if the second LoRa worked, I'll turn off the realism LoRa to see if the image loses its realistic touch. I hit Q prompt again. Here are the images. This one is with two LoRa's, and the first one is with just one LoRa. The realism LoRa wasn't active, so the image doesn't look as realistic. The image with three LoRa's is both more realistic and combines the two faces. It's a fantastic feature that allows you to use multiple LoRa's at once. You can even download other LoRa's from the websites I mentioned earlier in the video and experiment with creative combinations. Here is the next image with the realism LoRa turned off. You can see the image looks more artificial while the other one looks more natural. This feature allows you to blend LoRa's easily and create unique creative outputs. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.